What's up, guys? My name is Kiara. Come back at you guys with a little one today. Hope you guys stay high, stay lifted. You know what it is, my man. And uh, yeah, man, hope you guys got something to roll up, some dabs to smoke. You know, some guys, are, some dabs to heat up in the rig, you know, do whatever you want, man. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are, you know, staying healthy, staying lit, and being safe, you know, harm reduction. So, I'm going to get started about a video also about harm reduction, speaking of which. And uh, this is about blacking out on Kalan Aslan. Now, you will not want to clone, I mean, blackout and clone Azalan because it leaves you, like, feeling like you're kind of sober in your head, right? So, that's also what leads you to redosing on this chemical. So, this is exactly what happened this night. I redosed, and I went to the deepest sleep ever. Someone, you know, someone trying to wake me up, and I basically had to watch someone, like, my, uh, my little sister and my family, and I couldn't watch them. Because I was blacked out on a shit. I could not get woken up. And luckily, I mean, no, it wasn't like the blackout where you do anything bad, you know. But I remember kind of like falling asleep or almost I was feeling it, right? And then my dumb ass takes it again. I took, I don't know how much, but this shit was so potent. The clonazolam, like I had no way to measure it, you know, because it is that potent. Uh, just a little dab of it was enough to send me into a blackout. A little dab. Like I'm talking about. Just the littlest, tiny fucking. Oh man, it's just weird how strong that chemical chemical is. But anyway, so yeah, let me get started in how this night started, man. So I was, you know, in my room. You know, I had Clon Aslan from like a year past, and basically, I decided to kind of get into it again. I had started using it, not too frequently. I never used it frequently, not every day. That's for sure. Um, it lasted a little bit longer. It never lasted as long as a fluoromazolam did. You know, it did last long enough, like eight hours, up to eight hours, I believe. But, uh, you know, it was a good high. I love, I love clonazolam. But anyway, so clonazolam, it's weird because that's a delusion of sobriety. So that's the whole reason why I actually even redosed. The whole reason why. And I don't understand, I don't understand why I had to redose. I just felt like I had to. Re it's just that's the fuck how that's just how stupid this chemical like kind of like makes you feel, and it's the most delusional because some benzos are delusional sobriety inducing. This is definitely one of those chemicals, and you gotta be very careful what you're doing with this one, and you gotta actually volumetrically dose it. You, I'd I'd advise to get a solution of it. Never get a powder form. unless you're gonna make your own solution because it's just too risky, man. Like I. Took the smallest little tiny little pricks of a dad. Like, like a, I had the smallest amount on my finger and I licked it, dude. And it, it sent me into that delusion of sobriety state. And then maybe do it again. And then thus led to a black blackout. And I'm like, what the fuck is going in my head? Because my head was shutting down, man. <laughs> the whole night. I mean, I could not get woken up. I remember not even falling asleep. That's how much I just... I blacked out into a sleep. It was just like a coma, coma, coma like state. It put me into a coma like state. Honestly, it was pretty crazy how it did that to me. You know, all that happens, right? You know, I'm just into this fucking state, right? I have no recollection, right? And then the next day comes around. And then there's a whole nother time. Like, I remember falling asleep and I knew it was nighttime before, you know, like while I was conscious, right? But the whole next day, right? I fucking, I'm still feeling it, obviously, right? The half-life is really long on this one. I'm still feeling it. And what do you know? My mom's, my mom comes in and is hella mad at me about something, right? I'm like, what What could she be mad at me about? Because I didn't remember anything, right? And he's like, she's like, I hate you doing this shit. Um, Kalan Aslan, I, like, no, she didn't say that. But, like, I knew she, I knew what she was talking about, the Kalan Aslan. But like basically, she said she literally showed me this video that um, that someone took of me benzoed out, and that shit was like, what the fuck? I like literally in the video, like yeah, like I was like sleeping hella hard, right? And I could not get woken up, and and the and the, and the person was pushing me a little bit on the arm, and it wasn't waking me up. So that was crazy because I had no recollection of that. And I know for a fact that I would have been woken up from that if I wasn't on something. That was pretty scary. And who knows? Like, basically, I over, almost overdosed on his clonazolam. 
kind of like a blackout overdose, but it wasn't that bad, you know. But I definitely took way too much than I should have. So, you know, you know, she's mad at me. I'm like, holy shit. No, I didn't even mean to do that. Because, and then, like, but, like, I slept until, like, 12 p.m. until the next day. Like, I slept pretty fucking long. And, like, basically, I had to watch my uh, my little sister, like I said. And that's why she, that's also why she was mad. But it's not like, this is, like, a one-time uh, concurrence, by the way. Because the only other time I did anything remotely close to this was going to work on, high on Kalan Aslan. That was pretty fucking nuts. That time I was pretty high too, unprecedentedly. But this time was way too high. This is blackout. Only time I ever blacked out on Clon Aslam, actually. That's the only time I ever did because I had the delusion of sobriety and maybe that in, in itself was a blackout because you don't even know how you're feeling and you take more than boom. It's 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 not a good idea. I mean, if you unless you know what you're doing, your experience, you got some tolerance, don't ever be Joseph Benzo, man. You never know what you can get. I mean, I mean, it, it could just hit you like I don't know, man, like a freight train. That's what it did to me, and it was just fucking crazy. I mean, I was just like, "Damn, dude, this is like really how this feels." It just makes you want to redose like that, and I don't know. It's just crazy how potency was, how like how the potency was and everything, all about it, man. It's just it was a yellow powder, and it tasted like a. Uh, it had the most unique taste I've ever, ever tasted off of any benzo powder. Any any solution or anything, I don't really know how to explain the taste of it. But it, if anybody knows, you know the taste of clonazolam powder. It it tastes pretty good, but it's fucking kind of eh. It could taste nasty. It, it could definitely taste nasty, and not 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 too good. I would definitely wouldn't want to swallow a lot of it, you know. So thank God you only got to take a little dab of it on your finger and swallow that. But you know, yeah, who knows if you even take too much. Like I said, you got to take a very, very, very small amount, man. I, or at least the, the, you know, the synth, this, the synth that I had was top notch, man. Like it was really good. 250 milligrams of it, by the way. So I got a quarter gram of a uh, clone Aslam. That should last me, shit, two years, man. Up to two years. And it was fun. But like that blackout, oh, man, I learned a lot from that shit, you know. It, it's not too good to blackout too much. And I've done it on... Zzz, I mean, I've done it on, I think, I've, yeah, I've done it in a way on Xanax. And I've also done it for sure on alcohol, obviously. That one's notorious for that. I've always, like, ever since alcohol, my blackouts on alcohol, I've never liked blacking out. So, this night was really unprecedented. Like, I mean, unprecedented. Because I didn't mean to fall asleep. And I didn't remember falling asleep. And beforehand, fall, before falling asleep, before taking another dose... I literally, like, was kind of slurring my words. And I had a family member over, and, like, that that's the one that took that video that night of me not waking up. And he noticed that I was on something. Because I couldn't remember that that he, like, uh, we had a conversation with someone on the phone. I'm like, and, like, I was like, uh, I don't know, dude. It was just the weirdest fucking thing. Because I drank some alcohol. I drank a little bit. Like, he offered me some alcohol because he didn't know I was on something. So I only drank a little few sips of it. And it was whiskey. I drank a few sips of it. That was it. And maybe it probably intensified whatever I was feeling at that point because it was already too strong. And then my dumb ass comes upstairs and fucking takes another dose. And that's that's when I knock out. I basically learned a lesson because I don't really try to do this shit on purpose, right? You know, I'm all about harm reduction, man. So after this happened, I was fucking surprised and I was kind of scared. I was like, yeah. Damn, that could just happen to you. I mean, this is what you get for happen, fucking with RC Benzels. Yeah, don't fuck with RC Benzels, man, if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. If you don't have an addictive personality, which is very hard to have these days. Like, I, I have a user. I don't know how to describe it, but, like, I cycle my drug use because I know that you can easily become addicted no matter what, if you have addictive personality or not. Like, you can become an addictive personality. And you don't want to become an addictive personality. So I like to cycle off my drugs. And I am always, like, once I notice something negative, I try to very, I try to focus on that because I don't want to ruin my life. So after this experience, you know, I never ruined my life. And I quickly ran out of that claw and Azalam. Uh, I never used it that much again. And uh, eventually built up, I don't even think I built up a tolerance much from that shit. So that's always good. It never left him with a permanent tolerance. You know, I can still get high on any other RC Benzo. Tizalam, fucking, I don't know about uh, prescription Benzos because I never get prescribed those. 
I, I got some pyrazolam bromazepam solution. That still got me high as fuck. So I assume that, um, you know, my tolerance is still there, man. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh hope you guys were rolling one up and smoking some dads and smoking some nugs, man. Stay high, stay lifted.